Hi everyone, this is Dave out here on Tybee Island. This is a Mark 3.1 number 6882. I haven't done a video uh, for quite a while. I haven't added to my build thread for quite a while. I haven't added to my blog for a while because you know how these things just add up and they take time. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to kind of show the progress of the build um, as it is right now. So. I'm not going to be able to remember everything, but a couple of the obvious things. Did the passenger foot box expansion. I used some aluminum from work uh, that was extra scrap and, and uh, made that expansion. Painted it black. I'm going to paint the interior of the um, engine bay, I suppose is what you call it, black. I had the... Uh, shiny um, diamond plate firewall which I've decided to turn it into a, a matte black so I uh, scuffed it up sanded it down and then uh, have painted it so that that's going to be put in uh, when I put that in I've got my heater ready to go I've got I've made this into one unit uh, this plenum here will this will back up against the firewall and um, this will allow me to have everything behind the firewall like I was wanting. I'm going to go with the competition dash. Kind of looking right now about what to have on the dash. And I have a whiteboard up here with some items that I'm looking for to have on the dash and maybe behind and underneath. Uh, these are some things that I wrote just today, things I need to do. Uh, let's see, looking at the back, uh, the gas tank is in, kind of roughed in the wiring harness, uh, but really haven't spent any time with the wiring harness. The fuel lines are all connected, um, but they're all held in with uh, Clecos. So I need to go back and, and really finish in those um, hoses and, and fuel lines. Also with the brake lines. The brake lines are in, but they're also held in with Clecos. Uh, the battery is going to be under the floor. Uh, we'll be able to pull it out with this strap. I've also got the connects here, remote connects for charging. Uh, let's see. I've decided not to do the um, gas tank cover, the plastic cover underneath. And when I put the body on, I like the look of the uh, metal gas tank exposed. So I'm going to try that out. If it if it doesn't work out, I can always put on that plastic cover. But I still need to prime the brake lines. I still need to tighten everything up with the brake lines. I still need to tighten up my three-link suspension. Um, I, I really don't know how to set that stuff, and I've kind of put it off. But it's time to start doing that. Uh, there are the pads for the rear brakes. Uh, the gas tank is in, but it needs to be tightened up. Here's the passenger side. I've put truck bed liner on some of these aluminum panels where uh, they're going to see the weather. No, it's not really a big deal. It's just something I wanted to do. Uh, here's inside the foot bus. The fuel lines are run. I've stayed with what Factory 5 has given us as far as the fuel lines. So I'm going with a small block. Um, um, if I ever get above 300 horsepower, it won't be much. So I don't know that I need a whole lot of a lot of fuel line. Um, Let's see what else. I've got the Fitech system here. I've got the smaller one up to 400 horsepower. It's sitting over on a shelf somewhere. The engine is still on the stand. I haven't gone through it. All I've done is really reverse the headers uh, just to I wanted to get it in the in the uh, car to see what it would look like but I haven't done that either. So there's a lot of things that I'd like to do but I haven't done. I still need to expand that driver's side foot box. 
Uh, but right now I've got the stock headers on the 5.0 and I may want to go to the um, upgrade headers so I uh, want to make sure that when I do expand that foot box that it's not going to be uh, in the way of an upgraded set of headers. Uh, let's see, the power brakes are still there. All the brake lines are run. Um, just did a little bit of the wiring harness, not much. I'm going to put the brake reservoirs up here on the firewall. So the hoses are ready for that. Um, I'm going to cut a pass through in the uh, rear cabin here. Still need to do that. Uh, emergency brake needs to be put in. I really don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't really have those parts. So that's just kind of a a summary of where I'm at right now and uh, what's been going on just a little bit here and there don't have a whole lot of uh, time in large blocks so um, it's I guess I've been a little frustrated with that but you know I've, I guess it's not a race but I'm ready to get things done and um, hear it but I'm trying to be patient. All the alignment needs to be done. Nothing's tightened up there. The tie rods are still loose. Well, that's essentially it. So, it's coming along. It'll be done one day. See ya.